hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today as you can tell from the title we're going to be making cheeseburger egg rolls so let's go ahead and get into it disclaimer before we start please excuse my voice um i'm not sure why i say horse a lot but please bear with me throughout this video all right so basically i'm chopping up my peppers and onions now you can put in whatever you desire basically whatever you would eat on your cheeseburger that's what you can put inside this mixture okay so if you want to put pickles i don't like pickles in my cheese on my cheeseburger so that's just a suggestion but i love onions um green peppers um cheese of course it's a cheeseburger um, but anything that you would put on your cheeseburger, that's what you can put in this mix. Okay, so we got our um, peppers diced up and our onions diced up. You want to make sure they're diced up really nice and fine because you don't really want to chop down on um, pretty big pieces of um, veggies in your roll. Okay, so right here we're going to go ahead and get our seasoning in our meat. So the seasoning that I chose to use is this complete seasoning. You can use any complete seasoning. Just be careful when you're adding salt because most of the time the complete seasonings have pretty good bit of salt, okay? I'm adding turmeric, some black pepper. Also, I am going to be adding in, well, you'll see in a little bit. What I'm going to be adding in, and this is just going to really amp up the flavor. All right, you can see the meat is starting to go ahead and brown. You also can, um, and, and right here I'm adding in my peppers and my onions just so they can go ahead and get soft and nice and caramelized before our meat, well, we want them done at the same time our meat gets done. I also added a little bit of onion powder because I just really love the onion flavor in my, um, my hamburger meat yummy that looks so good y'all it smells so good so right here i'm going to go ahead and prep my other ingredients so these are the vegan egg roll wraps that i'm going to be using you can find these in the produce section in the grocery store and the cheese that I'm going to be using is going to be the sliced Kobe and Monterey Jack now this is all that I had in the refrigerator so that's what I'm going to be using it's going to melt all the same you want to go ahead and get your oil prepped and go ahead and let that um, be heating up I'm using vegetable oil you can use whatever oil frying oil that you choose And you want to drain your meat just a little bit. You don't want to completely um, drain all of the grease because you don't want it to be too dry. But you want to drain most of that grease off of that hamburger meat. This right here, this is the... I think this is what really give it gives it that it just kicks it up a notch so make sure you add in that beef flavored bouillon okay it's the powder okay so right here I'm just going to add some cheese just to kind of go ahead and have a cheesy mixture before I even add yet I'm gonna add even more cheese y'all this is a cheese burger egg roll so we gotta have a lot of cheese right so as you can see, I added in about three slices to go ahead and get it all nice and cheesy. And then you can, you're gonna see where I'm gonna add even more cheese before we um, put them in the fryer. So right here, um, I have my egg roll. Now, to seal up the egg rolls, 
you're really supposed to use egg, like an egg wash. Just, you know, crack open an egg, mix it, um, just kind of beat it, and then dab it on the ends. But we used all the eggs for breakfast, and I forgot to take an extra one out or leave an extra one for this. But I decided to use water. Then I thought, well, I don't want it to pop. Then I decided to use vegetable oil. So either way, it's going to be fine. I used the water on some and the vegetable oil on some, and they all did perfectly well. So if you don't have egg, then your backup can be vegetable oil, olive oil, coconut oil, whatever you want to use, or even water. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the egg roll wraps now. This part um, is very tedious just because they're so delicate. Now, you can use, I've seen some people use two egg roll wraps, but I chose to, I, as you can see, I tried to, but when I fried it up and I ate it, I did not like all of that egg roll. It was just a little bit too much, so I decided to just, um, I'm glad that I did most of them with just one egg, egg roll wrap. And as you can see, I'm adding that extra cheese. So y'all, it could be so cheesy and ooh, so gooey and yummy. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and put these bad boys in the fryer. And hubby is going to wrap the rest of them while I get these in the fryer. So I don't have a deep fryer, so I'm just using my regular, regular, regular frying pan. And what you're gonna do is just gonna cook them for about 30 to 45 seconds on each side, y'all. Don't turn your back on these because they cook super, super fast, okay? Two minutes or less. They cook super, super fast, okay? So don't turn your back on these. As you can see, I've already flipped these over, like I said, 30 to 45 seconds on each side until the, your desired brown, your, your desired golden brownness. And you're gonna want to definitely drain them on some paper towel. So as you can see, I have my paper towel on my plate and I'm taking these out. And y'all, when I tell y'all, ooh, these are so good. So, so good. But just wait, just wait till the end. You'll see, we're gonna open up one for you to see just how good it looks. And as you can see, Hubby is adding some more. Like I said, he is um, definitely a pro at rapping because he used to do this um, way back when, when he was working in the food industry. And so, yeah, he was wrapping the rest of them for me and he did an amazing job. Look at that, it came out perfectly. Came out so perfect. As you can see, again, I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful they look when you, y'all, they are, ooh, they look so pretty. I love the way they have that golden brown and, and the crunch is even better. So we're gonna take these out, like I said, in about 20 seconds. All right, and here we go. We are taking the second batch out. I think we made about 10 of these. I think we made about 10. And yeah, a little bit of me goes a long way. 
all right you all and this is how they look after we have taken them out and they've cooled down just a little bit y'all these you have to try these they are so so good and they're really really quick to make if I was not recording I would have been done in about 45 minutes probably um so yeah here we go he's opening it up y'all look at y'all let's look at this I'm just gonna be quiet take it all in look at that mmm yummy now can you guys guess what's in these if you can guess comment down below and thank you so much for watching please subscribe please hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos thank you so so much for watching again and i will see you in our next video later